Hello and welcome to this short demo of ER Studio 17 professional version and we're going to take a look today at Agile Change Management and the features that this version of the product offers. To start with, I have retrieved the AdventureWorks 1 data model from the repository. I want to take a look at the Change Management Center first. If I click on Repository and Change Management Center, it opens up this dialog that shows me all of my tasks and all of my change records. It also shows me a status, so I can see we have some open tasks. If I filter this out, here's a list of my open tasks as well as my closed tasks. I also have change records that are either marked as closed or in progress. So if I switch to in progress, I can see my change records that have not been completed. If I click the completed filter, then I only see the completed change records. I'm going to leave this selected as all for now. I'm also going to come over here and start this process by creating a new task. And I'm going to choose create. And now I'll give it a task name. We'll call it task 51. Because the AdventureWorks data model is in project 2, I'm going to select project 2 from this drop down. I'm also going to leave the statuses open. The two statuses are open and closed. If I already had change records that I wanted to associate with this task, I could certainly do that. Um, I'm, but I'm also going to give it a description. So I'll just say that this is perhaps this is part of a sprint. Um, but in any case, we're just going to add a new entity. Okay. And that's my description of my task. And I'll say OK. So now that I've created task 51, I see the description here. It's in project 2 and the status is open. So at this point, after clicking OK, I'm ready to check out my AdventureWorks data model. So I'm going to come up here and I'm going to select AdventureWorks Check out diagram. And now we get an opportunity to enter a new change record. This is where I would select the task that I just created. So here's task 51. I'm going to choose that and I'm going to give it a change record. Now the change record is a free form text field. So you can enter anything into that that you like. If you use an existing ticketing system, uh, perhaps it's JIRA or uh, some other uh, method or just want to use a sequential number, you can certainly do that. Um, I'll give it JIRA uh, 24, 34, 44. Okay. And I could provide a description here. We're going to add a um, new entity process. I'm going to select OK. So now we're checking out the AdventureWorks diagram. And that has been completed. And now we see that all of the models and submodels are showing as unlocked. So I'm going to click on the Human Resources submodel and I'm going to add a new entity. So I'll select here and I'm going to call it Process and I'll give it a foreign key, we'll call it process ID. And I could keep tabbing and creating new, new uh, attributes as I wish. I'm going to go ahead and open this up now and I'm going to edit process ID. My default is set to a car 10. I'm going to make it an integer and I'm going to mark it as an identity column. I'm going to choose OK. So now I've added a new entity. I'm also going to add a relationship. So we're going to add that to employee pay history. And now you can see here that it has added this foreign key process ID to employee pay history. So now I've completed my change and I'm ready to check in the model. I'll right click and choose check in diagram. And now I'm going to get that same dialog that I create or that I filled out when I checked the model out. You have two opportunities to create this change record and associate it with the task, both at check out and at check in. If you created this information when you checked the model out, 
then it presents it again in case you need to make any changes uh, and it will be marked as closed or completed once you check the model back in. Before I do that, we will come up here to the Repository Change Management Center and we'll look at uh, task 51. It shows as open. If I expand this, it shows me that this Jira 3444 is still in progress. It also shows up here as a change record at the bottom and we can see that here. If I mark everything as in progress filtered, it shows up here tasks. My filter here is open or closed. So task 51 is an open task and here's that change record. Now if I double click on that, I can see who initiated this. So the user is admin and it's against my AdventureWorks 1 data model. Okay, so now I'm going to go ahead and check in my AdventureWorks diagram. I'll check in the diagram. We'll come back to that same repository check-in dialog, and I'm going to select OK. And now it's going to go ahead and check in my model. And we can see that everything has now switched back to the locked icon. Now if I come to my repository change management center and I look at task 51, this JIRA 3444 change record shows as completed. It also shows as completed here. It's no longer in progress. Now if I want to, I can either double click or choose details either from the change records tab or the tasks tab. If I double click on it from here, it's going to open up some additional information that gives me the details of what was changed. So it affected my human resources submodel as well as my main model. We added the new entity process with a process ID. It also affected employee pay history where we added process ID as a foreign key. So you can see what was changed, who made the change, what diagram was changed, and then any description you might have provided here. Also, the status, status is marked as completed. So that is a quick overview of our Agile Change Management feature in the ER Studio Data Architect version 17 with the repo, which is our professional edition of the product. If you have any questions, don't hesitate to contact Sales uh, for more information.